A warm welcome to all defense enthusiasts and curious minds tuning in today. We're here to unravel the latest happenings in the world of defense and geopolitics. In a world where the balance of power is constantly shifting, staying updated with defense and geopolitical events is crucial. To understand the world we live in, we must consider the intricate web of international relations. These relationships are often shaped and influenced by the military might of nations. It's a grand chessboard, where every move is strategic, every decision carries weight, and the stakes are high. Speaking of strategic moves, military power isn't just about boots on the ground. It's also about cutting-edge technology, advanced defense systems, and the ability to intercept potential threats. One such advanced defense technology that has been making headlines recently is the U.S. Navy's SM-3 Interceptor. The SM-3 is not just a missile, it's a symbol of power, a testament to human ingenuity, and a crucial component of our defense against potential threats. And now, there are signs that this remarkable defense system may have made its combat debut. Join us as we delve into the recent combat debut of the U.S. Navy's SM-3 interceptor against Iranian ballistic missiles. Our story begins in the tense waters of the eastern Mediterranean Sea, where U.S. Navy destroyers were stationed. These silent sentinels of the sea were the first line of defense against a storm brewing on the horizon, a storm in the form of Iran's missile barrage. A threat was imminent, and the protectors of peace were ready to respond. In the face of this aggression, the U.S. warships and fighters, including the formidable F-15E Strike Eagles, stood their ground. They were instrumental in defending Israel, a nation under the shadow of this impending barrage. The skies were a battlefield, a ballet of ballistic ballet, where precision, speed and strategy were the keys to survival. Amidst this chaos, a new player made its potential debut on the stage of combat. This was none other than the Standard Missile 3, also known as the SM-3 Interceptor. The SM-3 is a marvel of modern technology, capable of engaging ballistic missiles outside the Earth's atmosphere. It's like throwing a dart from miles away and hitting the bullseye every time. The Israel Defense Force reported 350 Iranian missiles and drones launched most of which were intercepted before they could penetrate Israeli airspace. It was a testament to the effectiveness of these defense systems and the resolve of those operating them. The U.S. Navy's Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System, utilizing SM-3 and SM-6 interceptors, played a crucial role in this defense. Like a shield against the storm, they intercepted the ballistic missiles, ensuring the safety of the citizens on the ground. This marked a crucial turning point in the use of SM-3 interceptors in combat situations. It was a moment that showcased the readiness and resilience of these systems, a moment that would change the face of modern warfare. Not just a debut, but a statement of intent, a display of power, and a testament to the progress made in the field of defense technology. The SM-3 interceptor is not just another missile in the U.S. Navy's arsenal, it's a game-changer. This marvel of modern technology boasts a capability that sets it apart from the crowd. It's designed to engage ballistic missiles outside the Earth's atmosphere, a feat that not many can claim. Imagine a football field. Now imagine that field stretching up and beyond our planet into the vast expanse of space. That's the arena where the SM-3 interceptor plays its game, intercepting threats before they even have a chance to enter our atmosphere. But that's not all. The SM-3 interceptor is a crucial part of the U.S. Navy's Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System. Aegis, meaning shield in Greek, is an apt name indeed. This system, utilizing both the SM-3 and SM-6 interceptors, forms a formidable shield against ballistic missiles, providing a line of defense that's as robust as it is comprehensive. Now let's take a step back and look at a recent event. In the eastern Mediterranean Sea, U.S. Navy destroyers likely used the SM-3 interceptors for the first time against Iranian missiles and drones. This was not just another military exercise. It was a real-world situation where the interceptors' capabilities were put to the test. The Israel Defense Force reported 350 Iranian missiles and drones launched, with most intercepted before reaching Israeli airspace. The SM-3 interceptor was not alone in this endeavor. It worked in tandem with other air defense assets including Israel's Aero-3 system and U.S. Air Force F-15E Strike Eagles. This event is significant for a couple of reasons. Firstly, it marked a possible combat debut for the SM-3 interceptor. Secondly, and perhaps more importantly, it demonstrated the interceptor's potential as a key player in future defense strategies. The ability to neutralize threats outside the Earth's atmosphere is a game-changer, and the SM-3 interceptor is at the forefront of this revolution. 
The SM-3 Interceptor's debut in combat situations demonstrates its potential as a key player in future defense strategies. In a shocking turn of events, Iran has reportedly struck Israel's F-35 airbase at Navatim. The attack, believed to have been carried out with ballistic missiles and drones, has resulted in substantial damage to the main runway, storage facilities, and several F-35 aircraft. The Navatim airbase, home to Israel's fleet of F-35 fighter jets, is a critical component of Israel's defense infrastructure. Its location in the Negev desert provides strategic depth and a launching point for operations in the Middle East. The damage inflicted on this base is not just physical, but also has significant strategic implications. But what could have driven Iran to carry out such a daring attack? Experts suggest that this could be a calculated move by Iran to test Israel's air defense capabilities, particularly the effectiveness of the SM-3 interceptor and the Arrow-3 system. This attack, therefore, is not just a tactical move but also a strategic gambit, a bold attempt to probe and potentially exploit perceived weaknesses in Israel's defenses. The repercussions of this attack are potentially far-reaching. Not only does it mark a significant escalation in the ongoing conflict between Iran and Israel, but it also places the international community in a precarious situation. With tensions rising, the global community must navigate a delicate path, balancing the need for security and stability with the respect for national sovereignty and international law. What's clear is that this attack has taken the conflict to a new level. It's no longer just about regional power dynamics, but about the ability of nations to defend themselves in the face of increasingly sophisticated threats. Whether this will lead to a broader conflict or serve as a wake-up call for de-escalation and dialogue, only time will tell. As we continue to monitor the situation, stay tuned for more updates on this developing story. Following the shocking strike on Navatim Air Base by Iran, Israel's F-35 fleet, housed primarily at this base, has reportedly suffered significant damage. The F-35, a cutting-edge stealth multi-role fighter, has played a crucial role in Israel's air defense. Its advanced capabilities including stealth technology, supersonic speed and integrated avionics, have made it a powerful asset in Israel's arsenal. The F-35's role in Israel's air defense strategy is critical. It's not just a fighter jet, but a force multiplier. Its advanced sensor package and networking capabilities allow it to gather intelligence, conduct surveillance and reconnaissance, and even control drones. The F-35 is more than an aircraft, it's a complete airborne battle management system. The damage to the F-35 fleet therefore has far-reaching implications. Not only does it reduce the number of operational aircraft, but it also impacts Israel's ability to conduct certain types of missions. Given the importance of the F-35 to Israel's defense strategy, the loss of even a single aircraft is a significant blow. In response to this attack, Israel will likely take several steps. First, it will need to assess the extent of the damage and repair the affected aircraft as quickly as possible. Second, it will need to bolster its air defenses to prevent future attacks. This could involve deploying additional F-35S, enhancing airbase security, or even retaliating against Iran. The attack on Navatim Air Base and the damage to the F-35 fleet is a stark reminder of the volatile nature of geopolitics in the Middle East. It underscores the importance of maintaining a robust and diversified defense strategy capable of withstanding and responding to unexpected threats. As we continue to monitor the situation we will keep you updated on the developments in this critical area of defense and geopolitics. The recent attack on Nevatim Air Base has abruptly brought Iran's military capabilities into the spotlight. Iran's armed forces, particularly its missile technology, have been a subject of intense scrutiny and concern. Its ballistic missile arsenal is one of the largest and most diverse in the Middle East, capable of striking targets over 2,000 kilometers away. Iran's ability to strike a well-defended air base like Nevatim demonstrates its military prowess and the effectiveness of its missile technology. This strike also underscores Iran's willingness to use its military capabilities, signaling a potentially significant shift in its defense strategy. Iran's military capabilities are not just about its technical assets, but also about its strategic thinking and its willingness to take risks. This willingness to strike at the heart of Israel's air defense system suggests a new assertiveness and a higher risk tolerance than previously demonstrated. The capabilities demonstrated by Iran in this strike have significant implications for the balance of power in the Middle East. If Iran can strike at the heart of Israel's air defense, 
it can potentially strike at other targets in the region as well. This raises serious questions about the security of other nations in the region and could potentially escalate tensions and lead to a more volatile security environment. In conclusion, Iran's strike on Navatim is a vivid demonstration of its military capabilities and its willingness to use them. It underscores the volatile nature of the region's geopolitics and the need for robust and adaptive defense strategies. As we continue to monitor the situation, we will bring you the latest updates on this and other developments in defense and geopolitics. Following the discussion on Iran's military capabilities, it's crucial to delve into the geopolitical implications of the strike on Nevadam. This event is not merely a military action, it's a significant shift in the geopolitics of the Middle East. The strike has undoubtedly strained relations between Iran and Israel, escalating tensions in an already volatile region. The potential impact of this strike extends beyond these two nations, influencing the wider Middle East and the balance of power therein. The international community's response to this event is also of paramount importance. The U.S., as a major power and ally of Israel, is likely to reassess its defense strategies and alliances in the region. Other global powers, including Russia and China, may also recalibrate their positions in light of these developments. The strike on Nevada could potentially alter the geopolitical landscape, prompting these nations to reassess their alliances, their defense strategies, and their positions on Iran's military capabilities. Undeniably, the potential for escalation exists in this situation. The strike on Nevatim could trigger a chain reaction, leading to further conflict in the region. However, it's crucial to consider the steps that could be taken to prevent such escalation. Diplomatic interventions, negotiations, and confidence-building measures could play a significant role in diffusing tensions and promoting stability in the region. In conclusion, the strike on Nevatim is a major development in the geopolitics of the Middle East. It is not only a demonstration of Iran's military capabilities but also a potential game-changer in the region's political landscape. As we continue to monitor this situation, we'll bring you the latest updates and analysis on these geopolitical implications. Stay tuned. In response to Iran's strike on the Nevatim airbase, Israel may be considering a powerful retaliation. As tensions escalate, the world watches on, waiting to see how Israel will respond to this unprecedented attack on its F-35 fleet. One potential response could involve the deployment of Israel's newly acquired F-15X fighter jets. These aircraft, developed by Boeing, are among the most advanced fighter jets in the world. They are designed to carry an impressive payload of up to 29,500 pounds, making them a formidable force in any conflict. The F-15EX jets could potentially play a crucial role in Israel's response strategy. They offer superior speed, range, and payload capabilities, providing Israel with a significant advantage in any potential conflict with Iran. The strategic implications of deploying such a powerful aircraft against Iran are far-reaching. It could not only deter further attacks from Iran, but also send a strong message to the international community about Israel's commitment to defending its sovereignty and national security. This move could potentially shift the balance of power in the region further complicating the already complex geopolitical landscape. As we continue to monitor the situation, we will bring you the latest updates on Israel's potential response and the implications that it could have on regional stability and global geopolitics. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this developing situation in our next segments. As the situation between Israel and Iran continues to escalate, we turn our focus to a potential game-changer in this conflict, the F-15EX fighter jets. These technologically advanced aircraft could play a pivotal role in Israel's potential retaliation. Boasting superior speed, range, and an impressive payload capacity of up to 29,500 pounds, these jets are a formidable force. The F-15EX, developed by Boeing, is one of the most advanced fighter jets in the world. It's not just about the speed and payload, but this aircraft's advanced avionics, radar systems, and electronic warfare capabilities make it a force multiplier on the battlefield. The deployment of these jets could significantly impact the balance of power in the Middle East. With their advanced capabilities, they could provide Israel with a strategic advantage in any potential conflict with Iran. Moreover, the introduction of the F-15EX into this volatile situation could send a strong message to the international community about Israel's commitment to defending its sovereignty and national security. This could deter further attacks from Iran and potentially shift the region's power dynamics. 
As we continue to monitor this unfolding situation, we will bring you the latest updates on the potential role of the F-15X jets. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the strategic implications of these powerful aircraft in our next segments. In the wake of Iran's strike on Israel's F-35 airbase at Nevadim and the potential deployment of F-15 EX fighter jets, Israel's potential retaliation could have far-reaching strategic implications. The first implication to consider is the potential impact on Iran's military capabilities and defense strategy. If Israel were to retaliate, it could significantly weaken Iran's military capabilities. This could force Iran to reassess its defense strategy and potentially seek support from its allies. The second implication is the potential escalation of tensions in the Middle East. A retaliation from Israel could trigger a tit-for-tat cycle of violence, escalating the already tense situation in the region. This could further destabilize the Middle East, with the potential for the conflict to spill over into neighboring countries. The third implication involves the potential response from the international community. Major powers like the US, Russia, and China could be drawn into the conflict, either diplomatically or militarily. This could lead to a shift in global power dynamics, with far-reaching consequences for international relations and global security. In conclusion, Israel's potential retaliation could have significant strategic implications, both regionally and globally. The impact on Iran's military capabilities, the potential escalation of tensions in the Middle East, and the response from the international community are all factors that could shape the future of this conflict. As we continue to monitor the situation, we will bring you the latest updates on these strategic implications. Stay tuned for our next segment where we will discuss recent developments in the evolving geopolitical landscape. In the unfolding narrative of Israel's potential retaliation, the international community's response could play a crucial role in shaping the outcome. The chessboard of geopolitics is not confined to the warring parties alone, the moves of other players also have a significant impact. Firstly, diplomatic interventions and negotiations could be crucial in preventing further escalation. Major powers like the US, Russia, China and European Union could use their influence to broker a ceasefire, or at least to de-escalate the situation. These powers could also use their diplomatic channels to urge restraint on both sides, aiming to prevent a full-blown conflict that could have devastating consequences for the region and the world. Secondly, the situation could lead to a reassessment of defense strategies and alliances by the major powers. The US, Russia and China in particular, could reevaluate their defense postures in the Middle East, potentially leading to a shift in the balance of power in the region. And thirdly, the international community's response could have a significant impact on stability in the Middle East and beyond. A strong unified response could help to stabilize the situation and prevent the conflict from spilling over into neighboring countries. However, a weak or divided response could embolden the warring parties and exacerbate the conflict, potentially leading to a broader regional crisis. As we continue to monitor the situation, we will bring you the latest updates on the role of the international community in this unfolding story. The chessboard of geopolitics is complex and unpredictable, but one thing is clear, the international community's response could be a game-changer in this high-stakes conflict. As we come to the close of our discussion, let me express my personal view on the debut and impact of the SM-3 interceptor. This cutting-edge missile system has not merely solidified its place in the sphere of global defense strategy, but has also hinted at what the future might hold. Reflecting on its combat debut, the SM-3 interceptor has undeniably proven its potency and effectiveness. It has emerged as a key player in the realm of defense technology and strategies, its role accentuated during the combat scenarios against Iranian ballistic missiles, a clear signal of readiness and unwavering commitment to defense. Now we cannot overlook the recent strike on Israel's F-35 airbase at Nevatim by Iran. This has added another layer of complexity to the already convoluted geopolitical landscape. We are keenly watching Israel's potential retaliation, which will undoubtedly play a defining role in regional power dynamics. Bringing in the international community's role, it's clear that the world is not an idle spectator. The responses and strategies adopted by various nations in light of these events will heavily influence the balance of global power. In my view, these developments are not just isolated incidents, they pieces of a larger, intricate puzzle that will shape the future of defense and geopolitics. As we continue to monitor these developments, we realize the importance of engaging in informed discussions. Let's keep the dialogue going, let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. 
Don't forget to give us a like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe to our channel for more defense and geopolitics updates. Thank you for tuning in, and we eagerly anticipate bringing you more insightful discussions in our next video.